Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Evermore. Hopefully this time with 100% fewer phone calls interrupting my recording. Okay, um, I did not get to level up Flash like I thought because, uh, well, oil and wax are hard to come by in this early area. That's kind of how I remembered it, but I at least thought I'd be able to get one level off of it. Now, I did gain a few levels, and I have like 600 talons, so I could buy the ingredients, but it's just not worth it. I mean, it's... In the, in the next area, um, oil becomes really easy to come by. And I did forget to mention this. Um, you come into this hut and talk to this guy, and for uh, killing the raptors, he'll give you a grass vest, which raises your defense by three. All right, let's head back out. And I'll also show you where I grind for my levels, because it's the best place in the beginning of the game to do so, and it's right on this screen. And not getting hit by these plants. We're gonna head out and see these skeleton snail things. Yeah, they spawn pretty much constantly. And they're worth a good chunk of XP, so just kill these things for like 20 minutes and you'll gain a few levels. But we're continuing on. See that? Normally you don't want to, but that first one you want to get sucked into so we can head over here. Alright. I want to go talk to this guy. Slow creatures easy fall prey to the sucking sand whirlpools. You need the speed of the jaguar. That sounds like a good alternative to being soaked in sand. I can provide you with a jaguar tooth ring. It gives the wearer the ability to run with the speed of the fastest feline. And it's free with any purchase today only. What can I do for you? Well, I guess I'll buy something then. Mm. We can carry up to a maximum of six of every item, as opposed to the four in the secret of mana. I'm having a hard time remembering what half the stuff does. Nectar heals you for more. Essence gets rid of status effects, I think. I'm pretty sure Pixie Dust revives you if you die. So let's go ahead and buy one of those, assuming I'm right. Please take the Jaguar Tooth Ring as my gift. What's that do? Well, it allows us to run. Like that! Clay, water, and more water. Nothing I need. All right. So now that we can run, we can get away from these whirlpools if they start sucking us in. Okay. Now, running does use energy, so if you just swung your weapon, you're not going to be able to run very well. But it's pretty... Oh, God, no! Obviously, the objective is not to get sucked into the whirlpools. Yeah, I don't like to hang around this area. I pretty much just like to head south and get out of the way as quickly as possible. Oh, hey, now. Let, come on, now. I think they, like, just closed and then just reopened. No! Come on! Stupid enemy! Oh, come on! What is this? I never have this kind of problem here. Uh, apparently my run button doesn't want to work today. Really? Four crystals, that's pretty decent. Crystals are pretty uncommon at this early point, aside from vendors. Petals, that's good to know. Don't remember if there's anything compelling this way. And apparently not. What you got, doggy? 
Oh, you're just sniffing that gourd? Alright. Anything over here? Anything hidden? No? Well, that was boring. Nothing here either? Well then, what the heck? Alrighty, now we're gonna find ourselves in the bug muck. Full of a bunch of enemies that I don't like at all. First, we wanna stop in this cave. This is gonna be our safe haven for this area. You know, friend, I don't get many visitors out here in the bug muck. I study alchemy, it's very powerful. Alchemy? You're not strong heart, are you? No, but I know him. I saw him only a few days ago. He was walking toward the big bug. Yeah, that's right. My caveman's Italian. What's up? If you're going in after him, you should have another alchemy formula. Alchemy is quite useful. You take a little of this, a little of that, and poof! It's like magic. It'll give you the hardball formula. It's an effective weapon. A uh, hardball is... Slightly, it's, it's basically similar in power to flash, except it's not fire element. It uses one part crystal and one part clay. I tend to like attack formulas that use one part of something and one part of another, just because you can only carry 99 of an item, so obviously if it uses one and one, then you can have up to 99 uses. If it uses like one and two, it'll only go to have uh, 49 uses. Obviously that's still a lot, but... You know, you like to have as many uses as you can before you have to uh, go back and get more ingredients. Just mix one part of crystal with one part clay and give it a good toss. Would you like to purchase ingredients? Now see, now this is why I was saying not to buy ingredients in the uh, first town, because oil is only 60 talents here, as opposed to 100. Actually, was it 120? And wax was 100. So yeah, a lot cheaper here. And you even get the the crystal. The only thing you can't buy here is uh, the clay. Let's go ahead and buy a few parts of these so we can use some flash formulas. Clay, water, water. Alright, what's over here? Two crystals. Alright, let's launch a flash spell at that thing. So you only 13 damage, but even just getting it to level 2 will do quite a bit more. Now the first boss is in the... Well, the entrance to the first dungeon is in this place, and the first boss is ultimately in that dungeon as well. And if you have um, Flash leveled up halfway decently, or Hardball, whichever you prefer, you can take them down pretty darn fast. I don't know if I'm going to have Flash leveled that quick unless I do it all off screen. Which is, of course, a possibility. Depending on how much money these things give me. Since buying ingredients from... Uh, our caveman friend here is a lot cheaper than it is in the village. This isn't a bad spot to set up camp. Next couple kills, I'm going to see how my money's looking. These bone guys are really annoying. But they do give decent XP. can be easy if you're in like a narrow strip of land and there's more than one of them. It can be pretty easy to get sandwiched between a couple of them. That's just a bad time. And this here is the dungeon. Relatively short. But um, I would expect no less of a first dungeon. It's not... <sighs> I mean, I'll talk about the boss more than when you get there, but um, it's definitely... The game definitely doesn't hold your hand, let's say that. How are we looking on money? Two, two, three fifty nine. I am not getting a whole bunch of money. And we have four talents from him. So 
at least try to get flash up to level one. Obviously, I'll need to go buy more ingredients for that, but I'll do that off screen. Well, apparently, there's a guy down there. This also isn't like Secret of Mana where you can um, kind of supercharge the cells by casting them over and over and over and over again. It's basically a, a delay in place that stops that from happening. Would like to gain one more level before I head into the first dungeon. Got some ash. Can you get up there from here? No, that's in the dungeon, alright. That's the entrance of the dungeon, obviously. There we go. I knew there was a pot around here somewhere. Come on. Get him, Poochie. Poochie, I said get him. Ha! <laughs> Stupid skull head. Come on. There we go. Jeez. Alright, let's see. Oh, is, there, is that another gourd? Okay, that's also a side exit from the dungeon. Ah, I forgot how many side exits there were. There are quite a few. Okay, let's go ahead and stop back in here. Oops, I didn't want to equip or unequip, I just want to buy ingredients. Okay, I'm going to uh, off screen a little bit of uh, XP grinding here, mostly getting Flash up to level 2. God, that's a lot of XP before the next level, so I probably won't even reach that, but. Actually, how close is Flash to leveling up? 60. Eh, actually, I could probably just level that up on screen. I should only need to use it four more times. And hopefully we'll be able to show off the damage it does. See, it's doing 13 to the maggots pretty consistently. Flash is now level 1. See if there's a maggot to cast it on. Did 39. <laughs> Quite a difference, huh? Okay. Now oh, we're going to go back in here. Spend a little bit more money. Oil. More oil. That'll give me six uses. If I really felt like it, I could go uh, grind guys and get Flash up to level 2, and then I could kill the boss really easily, but not really worth the time. I remember when I was a kid, this first boss just wrecked me for so long. But to be fair, at um, for the power level and the skills and abilities you have available to you, and the relative power level of your dog. This is one of the more difficult boss fights in the game just because, you know, you're very limited on how many cures you have because you don't know any cure formulas yet. And as a quick word, I'm probably going to alternate using spell the word spells and formulas and alchemy and magic. They all mean the same bloody thing. Okay. Now the gimmick with this dungeon is that there are collapsible floors. You can see there's like these slides here and the floors will collapse and you'll be forced to take a trip down the slide and it'll be reset here. Now Bone Crusher reached level 2. You level up weapons by using them just like Secret of Mana, level up Ugh, and it's just a mighty overhand swing. 
Okay, there's no there's nothing here, dog. There nothing here. You are drunk. There it is. What was I doing? Probably should have bought wax instead of oil because uh, it's more plentiful here. I'm gonna try to pretty much kill everything. Wanna ah, I hate those bone things. They also remind me of uh, the bone skeletons in Castlevania, but that's that's neither here nor there. Okay, that's not looking good. There is uh, a path through here where the things won't collapse, but pff, I can't remember what it is. Notice we're also physically hitting these guys a lot harder. Oh, I guess I gotta take the slide. Fun but annoying. Really? Really? Is that how we're going to play today, game? Jeez, I don't even... Okay, I think I can go this way. Okay, no, I can't go that way. Up, over, down, up, up, up. Let's go right then. Really? Okay. Ah, <sighs> up, up, left. Left, down, up. Left, up, left. They at least kill all the maggots. They're nice and easy to kill. <sighs> Hate you so much, game. At least I think the only path left is the right path. Do do up left up left up right right smack maggot. I said right up up. Hey, that is not even fair. Didn't even see him. Alrighty. Smack Megan in face. And get treasure. Okay, battle to get replace the one I just used. That works. It is worth noting that even if you have a low percentage power, it can still be worth uh, swinging anyway, just because as long as it damages the enemy, and a lot of times even if it does zero damage, it'll still knock them backwards, which can give you space to breathe. Just go ahead and use that other pedal then. Hey now. And this next chamber should be boss time. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and cheat a little bit. 
Because if he does manage to kill me, I gotta start over from my last actual save point, which was in the cave where I learned hardball. Okay, this is... What's his name? Thrax? Ah, uh, yep, Thrax. You want to hit Thrax's heart, but his rib cage is kind of protecting it. So you have a couple options here. Um, let's focus on the maggots first. Uh, when he opens his rib cage, you want to get inside and smack him around. He's got kind of a shout attack that is unavoidable and does five damage to you and the puppy. So let's see if he o he'll open his ribs. Eh, open. If you just stick up close to his ribs, he's just going to claw you in the face. I'll smack you. You can also destroy his arms, but okay, this is what we want to watch out for, his acid rain attack. Do you see that? How much damage that did relative to our life? That is why this boss is ridiculous. But you can't get him back, because his heart is defenseless to magic. Clutch level, that's all I can say. Now you see that did 44 damage, because his heart cannot defend against magic. Now I'll tell you, if we had Flash at level 2, we'd be ripping this guy a new face. Oh, okay, of course, I assume it's going to be a petal and it's nectar. Whatever. You can destroy the claws to kind of get some breathing room. I don't think it's worth it, because once you beat the heart, you kill him anyway. He's dropping a lot more maggots than I remember him doing. Oh yeah, 53. Nice big crit. This will be our last flash. Oh, 32. That's what you really gotta watch for when he does, like, the combo, where he just hits you or knocks you back, and then immediately follows up with Acid Rain. That can be pretty cruel. I'm just gonna stick to using pedals now until I run out of them. They're obviously much easier to replace than Nectar. Now we can do minor damage to the heart by bashing through the rib cage. He's being incredibly uncooperative about opening his ribs. Normally he opens them fairly frequently. He's just not giving me any leeway here. So I'll just beat the crap out of his maggots, get some free XP. Until he decides to cooperate. Ow, that was my face. Oh, okay. I was like, what the crap is that pouch? Yeah, I forgot the pouch is where you keep all your special items and treasures and stuff. Oh, okay, I see how it is. There we go. Let's see, what did I hit him for? For 43, I think? Nice thing is the enemies, as you can already see, I've gotten like, what, two petals and a nectar from them, so. Hey! That was mean! Totally got baited. Oh yeah, that was a nice hit for 39. This is seriously way more maggots than I remember. Well, the biggest problem with Thrax is that Acid Rain attack. It hits disproportionately hard. That was, a, that was stupid. That was... <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really stupid of me. I should have healed the dog first. Because while I'm being healed, I can't, t I can't open the menu. So I should have healed him first, but... Whatever, I had a doggy biscuit. Now, if we can manage to get the dog in there and attack his chest, then he's pretty much done. Mm. 
Uh, he does. Dog does pretty good damage. Charge attack. 145. Eat that. That's the first boss. Pain in the ass, wasn't it? Love that music. And we got our first bladed weapon, the spider claw axe. We can use that to chop down bushes and stuff. And cocoons. You are a brave adventurer indeed. Thank you for saving me. I am Strongheart from the village of Fire Eyes. I am a member in good standing of the Nobilian Order of Alchemists. I'm Shin, and this is my dog, Dog. He hasn't been himself lately. Very happy to meet you both. I was searching for alchemy ingredients when I stumbled upon that monster. If you didn't come along and save me, I would have been eaten alive. Please, take this gift with my thanks. Ten wax and ten oil. It's like they want us to use hardball. Or flash. <laughs> Good luck, Shin. And we're going to follow him out. Oh, I love the axe. The believe it or not, the bow and actually counts as a sword weapon. It's part of the sword family. Boop, two crystals. A mammoth guard. Well, that just sounds good. Yep, yeah, my first wrist guard is zero to two. Any you know, any upgrade from zero was an upgrade. Okay. Now, if I recall correctly, we have another alchemy formula coming up. What you smelling, doggy? You smelling something? No? All right. Four parts wax. So you can see we're definitely taking down enemies more efficiently. And just like that, we can cut through foliage now. Hey, jerk. Hey! Dog reaches level 7. That was quick. <laughs> he just hit level 6 in that boss fight. Now, why was I thinking I could get up there? Because isn't that where I get... I could be wrong. In any event, I kind of want to revisit what's-his-name. Yeah, of course. Don't get stuck a single time there. Now that we have a ton of extra money, use the formulas wisely. There are only so many ingredients to go around. That's a true story. Okay, got a bunch of wax. I'll take a few crystals. Water, you usually don't have to buy. Stock up on a little bit of oil, some wax. Okay, bye. I'd hate to think I was crazy, but I could have sworn there was another alchemy formula up this way after we completed the first dungeon. Yeah, if nothing else, I'll get the pedal that was up here. I will always take free healing items. Okay, then, where is that guy I'm thinking of? Hmm. 
I is confuzzled. I could have sworn he was up there. Chop, chop, chop. Nothing that way. Take a quick look over here so I can show you what's up this way. It's nothing we're going to be using for a while. It's a big empty space. Come on, there's usually goodies in here. Dog, find me goodies. I am not impressed. There we go. This will be uh remember that shuttle craft that crash landed here in? Well eventually we're gonna fix it, and those and those big empty spots are basically where I can land it. So let's keep that in mind. Jerk. Come on, dog. Let's go talk to Fire Eyes. Yo, Fire Eyes. I hear you're victorious in the far reaches of the bug muck. Well, it was a bug hunt, but we got out of it okay. We got a nifty claw, too. It's like an axe. Well, that's. that's great. Strongheart has returned to his hut south of the village, and we want to go visit him. Now the village faces a new crisis. Of course it does. The volcano to the north is rapidly cooling down. If this train continues, we could have an ice age on our hands. I'd like to help you, but I've really got to start looking for a way back home. Your best bet may be to track down the source of this atmospheric icing. You see, I'm originally from Podunk, too. My grandpa's an inventor who lived in the mansion on the hill. He made a machine that could send people to worlds of their own design. Since I enjoy all things prehistoric, I dreamed up this world of cave people and dinosaurs. I was supposed to be here for a couple hours, but it's been a couple of decades. Well, you look really good for a 45-year-old woman. Now and again, I sense evidence of outside influences on our world. The reason drop in temperature could be the work of someone from the real world. That person has control over the vicious volcano vipers. If you go to the source at the center of the volcano, you might find someone or something that could lead you back home. You might just save our village at the same time. Wow, this is like what happened in the Pale People of Planet V. It's about a bunch of astronauts who get stuck on an exact replica of Earth, only it's populated by zombie vampires and... Well, actually, this isn't like that at all. If you're finished with your little anecdote, I can give you the ability to call on me in difficult situations. Receive six call beads. If you need my help, especially in big battles, you can throw a call bead to the ground. I'll appear in a flash. And you'll be able to summon one of my spells. No offense, but how can a girl here how can a girl help a couple of adventurers like us? I've learned a few tricks since I've been here. Let me show you why they call me Fire Eyes. Step back. Oh, call me if you need my help. Peace. All right, we got our first call beads. Well, basically, what those do is you select them. There are going to be four people we can eventually call on, but we'll start with Fire Eyes. Then we have multiple choices: um, Life Spark, Flare, Heat Wave, Storm. Almost all of them just kind of generic attack spells, but they're all pretty, uh, pretty powerful. So, now that we've covered over half an hour, uh, we're going to call it a video today, and next time we're going to go visit Strongheart, get ourselves a new formula, and uh, check out this volcano. So, I'll see you in part three, everyone. Hope you're enjoying it so far. I know I am. I'll see you next time.